Hey there, my viewers! It is your good old friend here, the team right right here. Forgot to mention, it is the host, and I am back again. Let's kick this bad boy off and discuss once again wrestling news and other wrestling topics I love to discuss with you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this spectacular discussion here goes nothing now I got this information from my two of my friends from the internet first of all is Tony Talent thanks for the information and the other one is Lucas Star thanks Lucas Star and thanks Tony Talent now what I'm talking about is probably you're wondering what are you talking about team all right if you listen just hold on, okay? Now, let's see here. Hold on. We are going to see a match in the making, in everyone's opinion. Some people think this is garbage, but whatever. Chris Jericho, Y2J, Lionheart, whatever you want to call him. The future W Hall of Famer. He's going back to Japan. The face Kenny Omega. And this will take place January the 4th, 2018. You got a long way from now. Well, not really. It's it's November, but it's coming here very soon. Uh, Tokyo Dome. So he's going back to his roots. And what do you think about this? Do you think it's going to be a good match? And what do you think how McMahon feels about this? You know? If he's a free agent from WWE, he should do whatever he wants to. I don't know if he's still part of WWE, his contract. I know he's like a, on a legend contract. I know he's a part-timer. Um, do you think it would be televised? I don't think it would be televised on the network because this is not nothing to do with WWE. So I'm assuming it will be on YouTube or someone will stream it. So it would be kind of cool. And everyone wants Kenny Omega in the W, but right now it's not gonna happen. So, if this match is not gonna take place at Mania, the next best thing is Chris Jericho goes out there to face Kenny Omega at Tokyo Dome. You know, you know, we all know that some of the WWE, uh, WWE superstars wrestle in Tokyo Dome back in the day, like Ric Flair and other superstars. I think Sting did back in the day. When he was part of WCW, let me know if I'm right or wrong. And um, probably a lot of you are hyped for this match. A lot of people thinks that it should be a different opponent instead of Kenny Omega, instead of Chris Jericho. For me, I don't care. Probably people in Tokyo Dome are very pleased and probably got tickets in advance. Probably the tickets are very spank, sorry, expensive or might be very cheap. I don't know, I've never been to Japan. It'd be pretty unique. It's like the WrestleMania, you know? So, probably offer Chris Jericho a lot of money, so he accepted it. And probably, in my eyes, McMahon's very bitter on this. Or, or maybe Chris Jericho don't give a darn what McMahon had to say, you know? He's a part-timer anyway, Chris Jericho, for WWE, you know? That's why he signed up for. He comes, he goes, he does his fuzzy thing. So, all good stuff. I think eventually, um, Kenny Omega will go to the WWE, probably on a short term kind of contract, like a part timer or whatever. So, I don't know when he's going to go to the WWE. If he does, um, I know he's an independent wrestler, and some people out there. Is not a big fan of independent wrestlers. Is Kenny Omega a big mega superstar in New Japan? Let me know down below. I know he's a leader of the Boa Club. And, you know, I know um, um, AJ Styles used to wrestle there. And he was part of the Boa Club until they kicked him out. Because of all part of his deal. Because he's leaving to go to WWE. And look at what AJ Styles is doing now. He's doing some great things out there. And let's see if the way 
off for Kenny Omega a WWE contract? If he does, do you think he should go to NXT, go to the main roster right away? What's your thoughts? Or do you think he's doing perfectly fine in New Japan and all of this stuff, you know? I don't know if New Japan has a TV deal. Let me know down below and I can watch this. I'm assuming it'll be on pay-per-view. You gotta pay like, what, 60 bucks? Have a go and what's your thoughts on this discussion? If there's an article, I'll find an article and put it down below. If there's no article, then I'm not gonna worry about it. So, most likely this is gonna be the main event. This is like a dream match for New Japan. Like I said before, this is like their WrestleMania. And most likely they're gonna have more matches on the card. So, that wraps it up. This is the only match I'm gonna discuss. So, thanks Tony Talent and thanks Lucasstar. And all that good stuff. Have a good one. If you like this discussion, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the way I do it, don't say nothing. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification. You can check out things from the past, present, and the future. Thank you very much, and have a good one. This is Team I Ride. The host here is signing off. This is a dream match. you guys agree or disagree? Have a good one.